I want to get to what is happening with Craig Council in a second. But before we do that, Stu Gatz, I do want to address what Billy just brought up with Ron McGill. Indisputably good television at any time that I've been alive, putting on Arnold Schwarzenegger with the donkey that's in his home and just <laughs> seeing where that goes. That is, uh, it's what I want with my Monday Night Football. It's what I want with all of my television. If I'm watching Captain Lee and I'm watching uh, anything, I want a donkey wandering around with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's going to make anything better. You can't put a donkey on a boat, Dan. That's crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, does have a famous animal friend. Uh, I saw it in the documentary. Sly Stallone just came out with a documentary to counter Arnold's documentary. <laughs> Arnold's documentary was three parts. I'm sure it's better than Sly Stallone's, but uh, they're still competing. And Sly Stallone, I can't imagine having... A donkey in his home. Well, no one you can imagine having yeah. a donkey living in their home, probably. I was unsurprised when I was more surprised that Schwarzenegger had a tank, had an actual, he was driving around a property with a tank. I was more surprised by that than I was in the documentary mm -hmm. seeing that. Why? They, That's he, the most on brand thing ever. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know that. A, I didn't know that. A, <laughs> He's Arnold. I, mean. I did not know a civilian could get a tank. I didn't it's, it's not Where did you buy a tank? tank. Did you know you could own a donkey? I mean, yes. <laughs> you did? Like, yeah. Oh, it's common knowledge, huh? I mean, Sorry. Hee haw. <laughs> He's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my dad used to do strike three calls when I would yeah. pitch to him out oh, the front yeah. yard. Hee-haw three. Hee-haw three. <laughs> That's right. Those were the days. Only if it was a strike, though. Right. You don't abuse that call. Mm -hmm. Lulu's a good name for a donkey. <laughs> I agree. That's a handsome donkey. That's a good-looking donkey with a big, giant head. The, the photo made the donkey look uh, like it weighed about 1,000 pounds. The Mannings have it figured out. They have really uh, conquered business in terms of profiting off of uh, famous royalty names at, at the quarterback position. Uh, they figured it out with a giant company, and they've teamed up with ESPN to support something that, uh, while it has its critics, all they do is use their name power to get something like that every week because it's hard to get Arnold Schwarzenegger to show up for your broadcast. They use the power of their name in a way that gets uh, better guests than anyone else can get for a weekly thing, and they do it in a way that pops here and there. You don't even have to be watching the broadcast. They're just enhancing whatever the future of their business looks like because they're going to be conquered for 10 years doing whatever they want from their homes, from wherever they want, with whoever the partners are that they want. But they still have plenty of clunky moments, and those are my favorite yeah. parts because yes. Peyton doesn't know what to do. He gets real red, and Eli starts laughing. Yeah. So, like, while there are moments where the donkey's just crushing at great television, there are also moments with Trevor Lawrence where it's just awkward. Do you think that Trevor Lawrence was watching along at home and was like, crap, now what do I do? I gotta I follow do? the donkey. I gotta follow the donkey. I mean, Trevor Lawrence... Not Arnold. A great from Cartersville, Georgia, <laughs> right. is probably, like, not that he's a bore, but, like, how do you follow up a donkey in Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I don't know what Trevor Lawrence's self-assessment is as the number one quarterback pick in the draft in a very famous sport who is the centerpiece of his city. I don't know. I would assume that most quarterbacks who are good in that league have a very strong self-assessment. I'm not sure that they come away from that saying, <laughs> I'm following Arnold and the donkey. I have no chance of being good here. I, but I don't, I really don't. It's a good question. I don't know that Trevor Lawrence Lawrence thinks to himself, I have to be maximum entertainer here. It's much easier to go in confidently if you're just Trevor Lawrence and all you got to do is be Trevor Lawrence. You don't need to bring a donkey. You don't need to bring Schwarzenegger. You just bring your six and two. Yeah, but but given the option, you'd want to go pre-donkey, yeah. right? Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. Or you're Keyshawn Johnson, and then you have the Lawrence buffer there in between, and then you get to right. Keyshawn at the end. Right. We did get Trevor Lawrence doing a British accent. Because they were like, you're, you're Jags, you're England's team. What do you think? He's like, I, I'd love being their team, bruv. It was great. <laughs> on the other side of this, there is serious tension on the regular telecast because they are asking Joe Buck and Troy Aikman to constantly promote what's going on on the Manning cast, and you can tell Aikman is not a fan of it. Right. You can also tell if you watched the telecast last night, the normal one, that Aikman is not a fan of Zach Wilson. He took three hours and used Zach Wilson as a pinata last night. He absolutely crushed 
Zach Wilson, and it was very entertaining to watch. Aikman's great. I love him. But he is not happy about promoting the Mannings. He hates it. He should be. <laughs> who who promotes another show? Right. It's, it's, it's the same I mean, network. Like you Family of the... networks. Family of uh, Pablo oh. Torre finds out. Check it out. Cinephile. Uh, uh, but God bless football. The Greg Cody Show featuring Greg Cody. With, yeah, with Greg Cody. Uh, now, that's so now it's okay. So now it's good. Promotion's yeah, no, fine now. now it's good. Okay. Yeah, now it's fine. Troy Aikman did spend the entire time bashing the Jets. Stugatz's take from last week, all of last week, that if uh, Aaron Rodgers comes back, he shouldn't be allowed to start if Zach Wilson is healthy and uh, the team is in playoff contention. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the about proper the right response. that's the yeah. proper response. Because dude got hot with 50 seconds left against yeah. Tommy DeVito against <laughs> the a, Giants. It was a great moment though. 